us. Ritu joins us now. Ritu, it turned out to be a press, press conference about Paytm and not the MPC as uh, much. But the RBI uh, and the governor specifically very clearly articulating what has gone wrong and mm -hmm. why the action has been taken. Mm -hmm. For the benefit of our viewers, uh, uh, Ritu, uh, sum up the arguments being presented by the RBI uh, for the action taken, the supervisory action taken against Paytm. Well, you know, importantly, this is the very first time you have the Reserve Bank of India publicly addressing the issue around Paytm payment banks since that small notification on the 31st of January, now making it clear that the action was taken only after repeated warnings which Paytm Bank failed to address. Now, as a caveat, the governor did say that RBI does not comment on specific entities and was only making general observations about all regulated entities, which includes Paytm Bank, to give an insight into what led to this crackdown. Now, the governor read that seven-point statement in this matter, and to start with, he said RBI had significantly deepened its supervisory system, its approach and methods over the last few years, and that the emphasis has always been on a two-way bilateral engagement with financial entities with a focus on nudging them to take the corrective action and it is only after giving them sufficient time when these entities still fail to take effective remedies only then does RBI impose supervisory or business restrictions. And importantly, to all of those who've been questioning what could have caused such a severe reaction from RBI, the governor making it clear that restrictions imposed by the regulator are always proportionate to the gravity of the situation. Now, during the course of the press conference, you also had RBI allude to the fact that there were grave issues of compliance, not just deficiency, and not just on KYC, but several other fronts as well. Governor Das making it very clear that such actions are not taken lightly by the regulator and they are responsible and ultimately all of these actions are driven keeping in mind the depositor's interest and to maintain financial stability. For the co common man who may have queries about what happens next now, can they use their PTM wallet, can they use the app to make UPI transactions, all of these questions are going to be addressed by the RBI in an FAQ that is going to be released soon. And lastly, in no uncertain terms, because of criticism from certain quarters, RBI also wanted to send out the message that such instances should not raise any doubt about its commitment of promoting fintechs and technological innovation in the financial sector. Well, Ritu, many thanks for joining us. Uh, yes, that's the big story there coming in from uh, the MPC today, not linked to the MPC, but more on Paytm and the regulatory action against Paytm Payments Bank.